All right, episode 19 of the Sab Powers podcast. Good buddy, funny comedian, DJ Brooks, everybody. <laughs> Most applause I've gotten in weeks. Yeah, buddy, crazy, man. Are you like Jones in to do comedy again? Yeah, man. I mean, like, well, for you and I, it came at like the worst time, right? Like right mm-hmm. in the middle of Niagara's Top Comic, which was like, like I was already pumped. I mean, this sounds so cocky, but I was like, the finals was going to be wicked because I knew it was going to be like a bunch of us, like, you know, like guys we like hang out with and girls we hang out. So I knew it was going to be like an unreal show. So I was like pumped up for the finals, but now it is what it is. This year it's not happening, but yeah, I'm dying. Like I'm just writing. I'm not doing like, uh, are you doing any of those like Zoom shows? No, I just started a podcast instead. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what I'm doing, right? Like Mitch and I started our, our podcast thing. Um, I'm just writing, but like I need to, like I don't know what comedy is for you. For me, it's like being at the club, right? Like it's that instant feedback. It's not online. Like this is mm-hmm. cool because I need to talk to humans, but God, I miss the clubs, man. Yeah, it's like a whole different thing. It's like it's whole uh its own like you need everything you need like the low ceilings even like doing uh, a show at taps is so much different than doing a show at showtime like i love taps but showtime is just so much better with the exact same audience because that low ceiling and they're just closer together they're tighter together right like a taps Mm -hmm. will be like spread out sometimes right um yeah and i love it too levi does a great job with that show but yeah it's the the clubs are designed for comedy and nothing else right Mm -hmm. so levity's wicked showtime's amazing um, you know, I've been to some of the other clubs in Toronto and too, and they're just, they're designed for the laughs. Right. So yeah, I miss it. I miss, uh, like I miss hanging out at showtime on a night where I'm not going up too. Right. Like I just miss everybody. Um, like I can't say the same stupid shit to my kids. They don't laugh the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone else does. Right. <laughs> you can't tell them, tell a dick joke or, you know, some something to an eight-year-old so um it's a bit different but you know how are you making out man i'm actually doing pretty good because like this podcast is actually kind of popping off it's like uh every episode like does like at least around like 70 views or something the first episode is like two over 250 views and like i just like yeah i do so like two a day usually like i try to do it like at least 12 hours apart i'll give the podcast 12 hours and then i usually just like wake up whenever and then i'll post one and then i'll do one before i go to bed is how yeah. i've been doing it yeah um back to I've the a few of them. thanks buddy yeah i know you watched uh the one with tim right no i haven't watched tim's no oh, i watched okay. uh taylor uh-huh. uh that was a short one i watched mitch um I can't remember. I got. I got to go back and and look at here. I can look yeah. at them while you talk. <laughs> yeah, the one uh, with Mitch is. Uh, we we talked about your podcast that you guys are starting together. It actually, yeah, yeah. sounds pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, dude, we're pretty jacked up because we we keep getting more and more cool guests from like just talking to people about it. So like, um, so far we've done uh, Dave Green, who you know, and everyone yeah. in Niagara comedy knows. Uh, and then last week, the new episode that's going to come out is a buddy of mine who like owns a clothing company uh, and a brewery. And like, he's been to the Briar, like the Canadian curling championships a bunch of times. So that was really cool. Uh, this week on Monday, we're recording with uh, Angelina Love. If you want to Google her, uh, absolute rocket of a wrestler. Uh, I went to grade school with her in high school. So we're doing her on uh, Monday. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you just Google her? <laughs> no, I just laughed because you're like, we're doing her on Monday. And you're like, oh, she's like yeah, a rocket. No. And-, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like, just from people finding out about the podcast, like we might have a, and we got an XNHL coming on in a few weeks. Um, and now um, just from talking to people, it, it looks like we might be able to get a guy who's playing in the CFL right now. Um, so we're just trying to get cool people that like we don't hang out with, um, that are like good at stuff. And then we can just talk, right. Just kind of like what you do. You just talk about whatever's going on, whatever you're thinking. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's been fun. 
so far. We're only on week two. We'll see how it actually goes. So, like, what's the channel called or whatever? Like, I haven't even seen it, like, oh. post. I haven't even watched any episodes. Or how no, do I I've find only it? Post, we've only, yeah, we've only posted the one on YouTube. It just got accepted into iTunes and Spotify and stuff. Uh, it's mm-hmm. called The Runners Up because Mitch and I both lose at stuff. Like, we never come first. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, it's called The Runners Up uh yeah and we'll see it's it's gonna be fun i don't know me and mitch get along we talk all day every day pretty much anyways about mm-hmm. comedy or life or whatever so now we get to just chat with some other people and see what happens yeah mitch is awesome i love that guy man his podcast was good we went on for like over an hour Talked yeah, about yeah he's shit. he's wicked we um like we've done so many shows together because he doesn't really drive so i drive a lot and uh yeah, we, it's like an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. We never stop talking, right? We're just like shooting the shit about whatever. So we're like, of course we can do a podcast if we can fill, you know, three hours of no, nothing driving time with like the radio turned off. Like we just talk about whatever's going on, right? So Yeah, you guys should have just put a camera in the dashboard or whatever and just done it. Like when you guys were doing comedy shows, you know, that would have been sick. <laughs> well, I had, a, I had an idea before everything went sideways that was like you just grab like it was mitch and i and we would just grab another comedian Mm -hmm. and we did like food reviews in our car like you go to like arby's or like across the border to some like place that we don't get here and just like get the most ridiculous amount of food and then drive around being like these fries are good (laughs) like it would just be be comedians and it would it would get funny eventually right yeah, yeah, exactly. Once you get more comfortable on camera and just start letting out your real personality. Because, like, I make people crack up when I'm, like, having smokes with people um, at yeah, comedy yeah, yeah. shows or whatever sometimes. But, like, yeah, on the podcast, it's it's kind of weird to translate. It's, like, you almost put up, like, a little bit of, like, a, a fakeness for the internet. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's almost, uh, it's almost what stand-up is, too, right? Like, mm-hmm. you're performing a little bit. Even, like, yeah, this is you and I just talking and um, – I think the zoom takes some of it away too. Right. Cause we're talking to a camera. I can see my face. I can, yeah, you know, yeah. If, if it was just you and I sitting at a table, it, it might be a little different, but even still just the, the act of having a microphone in front of you changes. You, it just changes you a little bit, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, other people are going to hear it. You're not going to say the most ridiculous, stupid thing that pops into your brain. Yeah, for sure. It's weird. Like when, uh, hearing comedians like tell the same jokes, um, multiple times like all the time and like they it it, like really like irks me like grinds my gears if they say a joke like the wrong way and they've said it in the (laughs) past in like a better version and i'm like oh no this joke is like worse yeah yeah but it like they they're just trying different shit maybe or they're just like i don't know every time's not gonna be exactly the same but it's funny like i remember i I remember doing a bit at, at taps and I blanked like in the middle of it. And you gave, you fed me the next line. I was like, right. <laughs> yeah. That's the next line for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. That's so funny. I think yeah. I do kind of remember that. I don't know. I was probably pretty drunk. I get smashed at tabs usually. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, it was like in the summer. It was like almost a year ago. It was yeah, yeah. That I was, when I was starting to work on like one of my better bits now so i didn't have a grasp of it and i fucking you know it happens full alzheimer's man (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) damn speaking of that shit um have you watched the elon musk podcast he did with joe rogan no (laughs) the new one he wants to put like chips in people's brains he might already have one in there who knows but would you do that like so you don't get alzheimer's it can like fire the right shit and fix your brain make you like a superhuman or yeah, the matrix, right? Like learn Kung Fu in 10 seconds. Um, I mean, I don't even know, right? Like, here's the thing. I don't, I don't like, I don't know if all that microchip stuff's ever going to have to happen because they don't need it. Right. Like, do you have a cell phone? Yeah. Yeah. Then they already have you. It's fine. Yeah. Like, but it's already... like, yeah, but it it's like the way he's explaining is like, if someone's like paraplegic or whatever, you put this thing in, you just take a piece of their skull out, you put this in, and it can, like, make them be able to walk again. You know, if they go blind, it can make them yeah. be able to see. So, um, 
cool. That's great. That's awesome. The world doesn't have enough resources for everyone to live forever. Right. Yeah. right. But would you like, get one like, is the question. Say like, so you're getting Alzheimer's, sure. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. sick. Everybody <laughs> says no. <It's> like, <laughs> would you rather die or get microchips? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, why am I, like, I'm a agnostic, right? Like, I, like, I don't really believe in God, but I'm open to the idea that maybe something is bigger than me, but I'm, I'm basically an atheist. Um, so I think when I die, I'm gone forever. There's no spirit. There's nothing. It's just, I'm gone. Yeah. So yeah, if you could tell me I could live longer, I'm probably gonna, mind you, if I drank less, I'd probably live longer, and I'm not giving that up. So. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> what are you going to do? That's a good point. <laughs> I, I want the quick, easy solution, which is microchip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you on TikTok, bro? No. <laughs> I'm an old man. Like, what are you? <laughs> There's old That's guys Dave... on TikTok, probably. I don't know. Dave was crush... He's crushing on TikTok, and I, I said yeah. to him the other day, I was like, isn't that for like 12 year old girls? Like, I didn't know that was like a <laughs> thing for adults. I'm going to stay away from that uh, particular genre of entertainment, but it's huge right now. Right? Like, yeah, it's crazy. People love it. Those little short videos of like five, 10 second videos. Then they watch another what, one and then another what one. What was the other one? Vine. Why yeah. did like Vine already existed? Then it disappeared. I don't understand. Yeah. I never really like knew why they just stopped it. But, yeah, there was obviously a market for it, right? Yeah, people love it. Well, in this one now, it's, like, I don't know all of it, how it works, but, it, like, the, it was supposed to be, like, a karaoke app, and you, like, voiced over stuff, right? Yeah, you still do do that. You can. You can, you can say whatever you want, or you can steal somebody else's audio, or you can just get a song from SoundCloud or whatever. Yeah, but that's kind of how what it's become, isn't it? Like, people just, like putting over other people's audio and making it funny. Like, well, yeah, that it's funny? that. And it's like dances and it's like shit like David does, where it's like people just telling jokes or it's like people t- showing you like tricks of how to do stuff. I follow a guy on there that uh, he's like a magician and he buys all these like crazy puzzles. Like they're super expensive. So like his YouTube is basically all his like magician stuff. And then his TikTok is like, he'll show you like all these puzzles and how to solve them. And it's like, He's got like puzzles that cost like twenty thousand dollars and shit. What? Yeah, it's like, crazy. <laughs> because it's the like handcrafted by this like crazy genius that makes and it takes like so long or whatever. And it's like this huge like wooden box and it's I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. These puzzles are crazy, bro. They're crazy. I'm telling Everyone's you. Everyone's <laughs> got their thing. Everyone's got their thing. I'm yeah, not yeah. judge anybody. It's not for me, but hey, man. <laughs> a twenty thousand dollar puzzle. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Fucking, um, they're not all that much, obviously. Most of them are pretty cheap, yeah. obviously. But uh, he's got it's like one or two there up there. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. But if you have like so much money, like if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? A million? Yeah. Well, so you, you don't see, you're going to get, <laughs> I'm just so a million. Yeah. I would invest it and uh, live Smart. on the interest and like, yeah, no, I'm yeah, so that's boring. smart. That's not boring. You're just not an idiot. Most people that win the lottery uh, end up like in the same situation or worse, right? If you, if so that's like, a good if thing win, to hear. If you win like ten million dollars, if mm-hmm. you invest it like, like relatively risk free and for like a four or five percent return, mm-hmm. that's four hundred thousand dollars a year. Can you live off four hundred thousand? Oh yeah. For sure, that's crazy. That's that'd be so amazing. I don't. Yeah. Why would you buy a boat and shit mm-hmm. that depreciates? It doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. But whatever. I've also right. never been in a situation. I would probably the first weekend blow like forty grand at a bar because I'd walk in and just put my credit card on the table. <laughs> forty grand though. What are you gonna buy? Every you're gonna get everyone yeah, waiting like all night. Bar. Yeah. If I won, yeah, if I won like forty mil, I would walk yeah. into a bar and just be like every single drink all night. Yeah, but then then you get it out of your system. You feel like a piece of shit after that. You don't waste anymore, and then you're super stingy with the rest. You live off the four hundred thousand a year. Yeah. You know? Yeah, learn the lesson early, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially with like ten million, that'd be sick, man. It's weird because ten million to some people is just like nothing. Like Jeff Bezos, it'd be so weird to be that guy. You know what I mean? 
I saw a, like a headline today. I didn't click the article, but it said he's closing in on being the first trillionaire. That's crazy, bro. So how much that's is a trillion? A thousand billion. Damn, that's fucked up, dude. He can spend nine hundred and ninety nine billion dollars and still be a billionaire. Wow, that's so fucked up. Dude, man, he could change the world for like so much better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And oh yeah. A lot of well, yeah, that's the ninety nine percent stuff, right? Like that one percent uh-huh. of people decide to like if they if they wanted to, they could absolutely change the world. One percent of the world's population just needs to make a conscious decision not to be a cunt. Yeah, exactly. Like it's so fucked up, like starving kids. How is that still a thing? Like it's just like Jeff water. Bezos could stop water. that on his own. Yeah, even water. Yeah, like what? There are still places in the world without water. It's fucked up, man. We need more acons in the world, bro. More acon. <laughs> I don't. I don't get your reference. Acon, like the rapper. Yeah, he like uh, gave electricity to like a billion people in Africa or something. Really? Yeah, I don't know the exact numbers. I don't know if it's, but yeah, it's like. Uh, and then, like, he made it, like, a business or whatever. It's, like, how do you – like, with charities and stuff, like, if you dump money into places, you're not necessarily helping in the long run. Like, the whole give a man a fish opposed to teach a man to fish post uh, thing, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, he made it, like, a business where it's, like, they just uh, – they borrow money from China, I guess, I think. And then they, uh, like, pay all the locals and stuff to actually, like, build this stuff. And then they like slowly just pay the money back to China, right? So China wins because they get like small interest rates. Yeah, it's a or, small business loan, basically. Right? Yeah. Econ so, is bringing electricity to 600 million people in Africa. Yeah. This is a while ago, a couple of years ago. But it, yeah, it never gets it. Yeah, yeah. Five years ago. Yeah, see? So it's Why like. How do you know this? Just because it's fucking awesome and it deserves more attention. Well, it is. Yeah. Like, no <laughs> I just had no idea. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like uh, I watched a lot of shit on YouTube. Like before I started like grinding on my own YouTube, I was always watching things like other YouTubers and stuff. And now it's like I only support people like that I actually know in real life or that support me back really on YouTube. Because I don't don't want to waste – like I only have so much time in the day, right? So it's like I'm trying to like put as much time as I can into actually making this shit work. So it's like – my subscribers that like watch all my videos and comment on all my shit and like I can tell they're actually genuine and not just like leaving generic bullshit I'll go watch their stuff back too right yeah 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 Yeah, you know those people right like you had the whole Tom thing going on a few weeks back <laughs> you were so <laughs> right. angry <laughs> yeah dude and he's still around is he changed his name from Tom after that he was Todd and then like Ted or something and then he likes the yeah, but then he changed to call, like C A L L, like uh, give me a call, and then fucking now his name is Logan, and he just says want to be friends all the time to everybody now. <laughs> I was sick. I I was just I, I'm so sick of him now. Like I I was like I might as well make more videos about him because those videos get like a lot of views. Like they're like probably my most viewed videos are the stupid Tom shit. When you hate on people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's not a person. It's a robot. It's a comedy well, yeah. bot. It's an yeah. algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, there obviously is a person behind this channel, but it's like, I'm pretty sure his content isn't even his. It's like three videos, and like, one's like how to get subs, one's how to get views, and one's how to get, uh, I don't know, some other thing. Stupid, right? How yeah. to get likes, right? So it's like, so it's like, he comments this and then people click on his shit, subscribe to him. And he's got like, last time I checked, he was at like 500,000 subscribers. So yeah, he's going to have like a million. They're watching any of his content. Like it doesn't matter. Yes, they are. They are watching. There's tons of likes, tons of watches. Really? Shit. Yeah, dude. Because people just fall for this shit. But it's not real, right? Like it's not a real organic, like no one's actually cares. So they're hitting play and they're, and they're. Yeah, but you watch an ad, ad. you watch ads and he's getting money from this, right? I guess. I don't know. Whoever it is, like. Is that, I don't, that's my, that's one of the whole things with this, uh, well, with comedy and with, and with these, these channels, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's a weird, because if you, 
either you do what you want to do the way you want to do it, or you do kind of what works to get views and likes and whatever. Right. Like I just want to do what I want to do. And then yeah. whatever happens, happens. It's like, it's a weird middle ground that you've got to like a, a weird tightrope you've got to walk. Yeah, and especially, like, when you're just starting, I feel like uh, YouTube, do, like, pushes against people that are just starting. Like, your your videos aren't going to pop up in the recommended and stuff because they want oh, people never. to watch ads, right? So, if I yeah. if I watch one of your videos and I let it play all the way to the end, the autoplay, the next video that I'm going to watch is going to be from a big YouTuber that at least has, like, a 1,000 subscribers, probably way more, though. And then you'll watch an ad before it, right? It always happens to me because I'm always trying to support only small stuff now, which is a sick way to actually not watch ads on YouTube too. But then, <laughs> yeah. But, and it's like, ads are so annoying. Like, not only do you have to watch one at the beginning, but then also that thing pops up at the bottom that you have to like click close, you know, yeah. or you have to see that stupid ad, your whole video. So at work, I just, I, every day at work, I throw on, uh, youtube videos in the background like podcasts yeah um so i I listen to a lot of joe rogan or uh tom segura burt kreischer other comedians but i do listen to like some local guys too but like so like today listen um, to me bro listen to me (laughs) yeah so today i had yours and uh taylor's on there was another one oh i listened to part of mikey hearts too okay there was someone that i listened to all the Pardon? Mitch, you listened to Mitch all the way through, probably. Did you? Yeah, or? I did listen to Mitch all this. It was, I can't remember. I might have been Mitch again. Um, but anyways, when I, but the point was, it, it finished while I was doing some work, right? So, like, it's in the background. Yeah. And instantly, Joe Rogan came on after. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, like you were saying, it's not, it doesn't go to, like, your next video. Mm-hmm. It goes to, like, something completely different and big because they want to keep you there, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's what a, it is. We're a slave, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's the thing. So I'm just like working like really hard trying to get subscribers and watch time, right? Because before you can get monetized, I feel like the secret for them to start uh, recommending my videos is I need to get monetized. So I was trying to get subscribers as much as I could. I'm almost at 420. I'm at 419 right now. <laughs> that's your number, buddy. <laughs> yeah. And then... But I, I noticed, like, my watch time was so low. It was at, like, 40 hours because all my videos were super short before, right? They were, like, me playing the ukulele. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And leaving the early podcasts you did were only, like, 20. Yeah, but even that, like, it made my watch time jump up so high. Like, now it's, like, I have almost, like, 200 hours from having 40 hours before, right? So I'm pretty happy. It seems to be working out. Some people are actually watching the whole thing. And they yes. say they like it, yeah. They say. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Dirty you never, liars. You never Dirty know. Liars. You never know how genuine <laughs> someone's being because they want me to support them too, right? Like a lot of my fans yeah, make yeah, their yeah. own videos and they only support me because I support them, right? So like they might just be saying like, hey, I really liked it. But really they're like, oh, that's kind of whack. Sabs fucking sounds like an idiot all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey man it's a weird tough grind good for you for yeah. for putting it out there like for me it's all about just uh like just learning like have cool conversations with the guys that that we normally would during uh comedy see if like something piques my interest in terms of a new bit i can write like this is my way of like open mic in it i guess <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> because we can't right now right so we just, yeah see what what ideas we come up with having some conversations and some fun and like i like i don't know what your your end goals are or what obviously this youtube's a big thing right now but like for me it's like it's just stand up right like i talked mm-hmm. to some of the other guys and they well, they want to like a few other guys would like to act right or or do some other stuff and i'm like no just i just want to tell jokes to a stupid microphone <laughs> that is that is it <laughs> yeah that's sick man i hope you get uh, to the level of fucking Joe Rogan or whoever. I hope we all do. You know what I mean? It'd be, it, it would, it's sick like how he's famous and he has like a whole group of friends that are all famous and shit like uh, Joe Rogan, Joey Diaz, like uh, Ari Shafir, all those guys, right? Brett. And then it's like, it'd be sick if we had our own famous group. We're like the yeah, next the big famous group of fr- friends that are all comedians, right? That'd be crazy. 
Well, I'll say this for Niagara, which the Niagara comedy scene, which is a little bit different. Like Hamilton's not bad. They're pretty um, like cohesive, like nice guys, kind of like they have their own crew that don't have a lot of like infighting or whatever. But like Toronto's a hot mess. Everyone you talk to says Toronto's a disaster in terms of Mm -hmm. like personalities and ego. And But I find in Niagara, everyone's wicked. Like we just want to like make people laugh and like I said, top comic. I just wanted to get to the finals. I thought, you know, I was good enough to be in the finals. And then, you know, who, if anyone out of the like six or eight that got there could win on any given day. So just let's go have some fun and have a killer show, right? Like that's what I love about whenever we go up and, you know, at Showtime or Taps or Cat, wherever, right? Um, just, you know, it's going to be a good show when you see some of those same faces, like when you show up or or Wiccans or, Oh, that's who I was listening to today. It was you and uh, Adam. Right. Um, right. That is a good one. Fucking Adam yeah. just hit 20 K subs on YouTube. That's crazy. Talk about gross fucking lizards and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. No, thanks. But Hey, it's man, a, his channel is awesome. You should watch some of his not stuff. A it's chance. Actually good. All of the, what? No. all those things are creepy. I thought I the bald care. guys like stuck together. I thought no. you guys were like best no. friends, dude. <laughs> I, hey, I love Adam. Great guy. I'll talk to him. I'll share a beer with him anytime. I want nothing to do with his dirty snakes. Nothing. <laughs> I have to hear enough about him when we're at shows together. <laughs> Man, do you know uh, snakes have two dicks? Did you know that? Yeah, because I've met Adam. Oh, does he tell everyone that? I thought That's I was like special. His, Hi, my name's Adam. Do you know snakes have two dicks? <laughs> Turtles like have two opener. dicks, too. <laughs> what? Turtles also have two dicks. Oh, I, and I only know that because I listened to that podcast. Today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I talk about it there, too. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. It's, it's I'm just bringing up. up all the same shit. I feel like <laughs> deja vu, bro. <laughs> you got any impressions? Adam did an impression. You going to do one for us? No, I've got nothing. Uh, <laughs> I've got nothing set up for you. Nothing. To, have you You've seen my act? I don't do anything that's not just me. I, don't, I can't even make that's a voice. That's a good voice. point. Yeah. I don't even make a voice. I can't. I, I struggle with, I've, I've written a bit where I like interact with my kid and I'm like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do like the, the kid voice even like I'm so <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I just deadpan jokes. Do you have any, uh, any hidden talents that I don't know about? That's not gross. I uh, know. Well, no, I do like a lot of things people don't know, but like, you know, you knew I curled, right? No, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I curled at like a pretty high level. Like I, when I was oh, a kid, shit. I went to na- I went to nationals and stuff. Um, here, you don't do it anymore. You still do it as a hobby, uh, or? So there's my Nova Scotia jacket because I was living in Nova Scotia at the time for when we went to nationals. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a um, is I haven't gone the last few years, but a high performance coach for curling. Um, so I've coached some pretty cool kids um i was like a long time ago was asked to coach the swiss women's team but i would have had to like travel the world i was just first married young i would have had to like been out of canada or out of ontario anyways for a large part of the year so i couldn't do it so i don't curl anymore i don't have time too many jobs too much going on um my one daughter played for a few years so i coached here while she curled but she I didn't want to, like, I try really, really hard not to push, like, my stuff on my kids. Um, mm-hmm. So she didn't really, f- went the next year said, I don't want to do it. I said, okay, that's fine. Um, so, no, I don't do any, I, I don't know, like, because I was so, uh, like, competitive at it, I can't do it for fun. It's not something I can do for fun. It's not fun because I suck at it now because I'm not practicing and training. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So when you you do something at a certain level and then you suck so bad at it compared to that after it's just not fun. So I gave it up and it's fine. I find new things to take up my time, like comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always need something. I find something. I can't stop. Yeah. Right. That's why this mm-hmm. is driving me nuts. Oh, this whole coronavirus shit. You mean being stuck inside? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I still go to work every day. Well. Mm-hmm. I work from home a few days a week, but like, like this week I I was, I'm going to be at work four days out of the five. So Mm -hmm. like I'm at least getting out and seeing people, but like, I think it's ending soon. Like, what do you think is happening? No, no, 
Really? No. When do you like, think it's going to end? Well, I think in like July and August, they'll start letting people do stuff again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, and everything will get back to normal September-ish. And then in October, November, we'll have another massive outbreak and shit will get locked down again. Because Fuck, it'll yeah. be cold and flu season. It'll be the fall. Uh, because... Every pandemic that's ever happened, there's a bigger second wave than the first one. Mm -hmm. So, and then fuck, who knows, right? Like, hopefully they get something sorted, but it's weird times, man. Like, I've got, like, my kids are seven seven and nine, and, like, they talk about the virus. Like, like, this sucks, the virus. Or, like, I want to see my friends, but I can't because of the virus. Like, it's a thing they're going to grow up remembering, right? Like, we've never had... We've never had anything like this. That's mm-hmm. like, what do you, what are the big things you remember in your life? Right. Like, well, I remember I SARS or whatever, but it wasn't Sorry, close but- to anything like this. Like yeah. nothing shut down even or nothing. But I just mm-hmm. remember that, like, I remember people wearing masks or whatever for like a but month. Not even like, people, <laughs> like at the hospital, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. Or just see. like seeing it in the news or something. Like, I don't even know if I ever even saw someone wearing a mask in real life. Yeah, but. You go to the grocery store now and you're like, what? I'm on a different planet. Yeah, it's crazy, like, it's bro. It's so weird, right? So it's going to be one of these things we're going to remember forever. It's going to affect all of our lives forever. It's going to affect human behavior forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I just want it done because I want to get in the club so bad. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and it's even, like, comedy shows and shit. Like, who knows if they'll ever be the same, which is so scary, right? I think they will, but it might take time, right? Like, mm-hmm. like they could, if they said on Monday, okay, everyone, go back to normal. You think the club's going to be full on Friday? Like, people no. are terrified to walk beside each other in a grocery store, mm-hmm. right? Like, have you gone, like, when you go, gro- I've gone grocery shopping, and you get like a tickle in your throat. And you're like, I can't cough. Yeah, yeah. Get, I'm going to get tackled in here. Like, I mean, what, like, <laughs> I even get scared to do it on the podcast. And I'm like a heavy smoker. And I'm like, oh, no. But I don't even go to the grocery store. I just stay home. My parents do all that shit. So I'm good. <laughs> well, yeah. See, so like my dad lives with us, right? Like he's got an in-law suite. So like, I, I we, well, we all eat together and stuff. But so now you know, normally he would do a lot of the groceries because he would be home during the day. And now I'm like, no, you're, because he's an old, he's almost 70, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, no, you can't go to the grocery store, right? Like my wife or I will pick, pick the food up and stuff. So I'm almost there more. It's, it's just fucking weird. I just, you know how like we used to complain about things in life three months ago? Yeah. And now, yeah. All, I, and now all I want is three months ago to be right now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a good, it's a good refresher, I guess, for everybody. Hopefully if they, everything goes back to normal, how good we had it. Right. Yeah, for sure. I definitely took like so much for granted that I didn't even realize, you know what I mean? Just like social interaction. Who thought that that was ever going to go away or just like, I miss like driving around and you know, I like driving. I still do like take the car for a drive once a week, but it's like, I used to drive every day, you know? Yeah, yeah. Weird. See, yeah, yeah. Like just sitting in the car listening to music, or like, are you like a uh, cruise around look at stuff? No, I just like the act of driving. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's fun. Like, I, like, I drive only the speed limit now, especially, but like, I used to speed like crazy. I, I got so many tickets in my life and stuff. <laughs> you know, Sounds I just, right. yeah, I just like, I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> it's like when you're driving a car, you feel like free. It's like you can go wherever you want, you know? Did you hear about the kid in Burlington, Oakville, whatever it was? That was going like over 200 uh, kilometers an hour no, or something? How, how 308. fast? 308. 308? Holy shit, dude. That's yeah, so fast, man. dude. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. Three, I've never gone. I think the fastest I've gone is like 180. And the car was like shaking. I had an old uh, Corsica. Uh, and long story short, I lived in a small town. My buddy lived uh, kind of just on the outskirts of this old town. Mm-hmm. But if you turn this one road, it changed from like local cops to uh, OPP. But it was in the middle of nowhere. So the OPP never went out there. So you knew you had this strip of road. No cops, no chance. 
Yeah. So I got my needle buried at 150. And so I buried the needle a few times going up there. But yeah, like you said, I was like, hmm, this wheel might fall off. Like it is shit. Yeah, it was scary, dude. It was, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. Like, holy shit, man. He must have like a pretty fucking nice car to be able to go that fast. I think it was a, a Mercedes Benz. I'm going to try to How do you get it. caught? Like, if you're going that fast already, how do you get pulled over? Because usually the cops are stopped. They'd have to catch up to you or something. It'd be interesting. Yeah. Though. Well, that it had to be like a helicopter, right? Like, right, or something. That's crazy. Damn. Um, I'm just looking it up on CP24 here right now. Word. Where was it? 308 kilometers an hour on an Ontario highway. On the QEW in Burlington. That's crazy, dude. I can't. Let's. I'm such a bad. I'm so bad at like car stuff. I think it's <laughs> a Mercedes. I can see the symbol, but I can't tell you if it's a Mercedes symbol or not. It's, it's like all good. Little... I'm bad with cars too. But uh, yeah, man, it's like there is like some crazy shit happening because this virus or whatever. Because of the virus, people are uh, like the roads are clearer, so it's just like fuck yeah. it. I'm just gonna go like as fast as I want. There's no one out here, anyways. It's true. It's bananas. Mm-hmm. It's bananas. I'm like. I, I need to, I don't know. Like, I'm lucky. I have, like, a, a, a pretty big property and, like, a pool and stuff. So, like, mm-hmm. basketball net. So, we're, like, out doing stuff. But, like, I still need to, like, not be – I think it's just the, the idea that you can't. Right. Right? As soon as someone tells you you can't do something, suddenly you want to do it, right? Right. And comedy, like, was a big part of our lives. Like, I would see you at comedy yeah. shows all the time. Like – like you said, you would come to shows that you're not even uh, performing at. I would see you at Showtimes and ta- uh, Showtime and Taps. You know, it was good yeah. shit, and I, I love that. You know, what I mean that we would support each other. Except I hate the comedians that come to shows and then just talk in the back of the room the whole time. <laughs> I do that. I do that sometimes. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> I know. I'm shitty that way. I don't. know. So I don't know. I was how how many nights I was at a comedy show at least twice a week, sometimes more. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's also like my night out, right? Like it's like seeing True. your like friends, right? So mm-hmm. I, I tried to get better at that. I'm bad at Showtime because uh, like I barely even go in the room at Showtime. Like I'll yeah. stay at the bar, but like taps, I'm I usually sit and and watch. Um, or Kaz's, you don't have a choice, right? But yeah, yeah, Showtime, it's got that little cubby. It's, I, I just love hanging out back there and breaking mm-hmm. balls. Yeah, like Showtime is like almost perfect, but if there was like more of a separation, like if I were yeah. to design my own comedy club between the bar and the actual room, that would be better just because like people do like to hang out. And like even I like hanging out at the bar, especially like if it's like a bad comedian or someone that I've seen a thousand times or whatever. And, like, yeah. I don't want to watch it. I want to, like, go hang out at the bar and talk to the other comedians or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, almost like uh, – even just, like, Kurt well, – I think it would be weird, though, right? Like, because curtains would make it better. I like, mean, for the you know, noise mostly, right? Because, like, that one – would that yeah. help enough with the noise? Because, like well, – I, I think we would be louder, though. Right, yeah. Like, because we would just get more rowdy back there because we thought, oh, the curtain's stopping it. <laughs> So if you were to design your own comedy club, how would you separate that? Like a hallway or something? Like, how do you separate them where it's like the noise is no longer a factor? What? Can you like, put like noise canceling walls in or some shit? Unlimited money? Yeah. Unlimited money, I'd have a separate room for the comedians um, with either um, like a one-way glass and then like pump in the the microphone so that you could hear the comedians doing their bits but you'd be in a separate room like a completely separate room even you could even set it up so that you can get right to the stage from there like the way showtime because showtime's long and skinny you can't really do that right but But, sometimes also like there's customers that might like especially for somewhere where that you have like open mics or whatever or like uh amateur nights there's a, there might be like comedians that the customers don't like and they want to hang out at the bar. You know what I mean? That's true. Someone might not be your flavor, right? 
Right. Or so like, or you might just be a comedian that's not on the show. Are you still allowed to hang out in the comedian green room? I kind of think you need both. Yeah. You need a green room, but you also need to like somehow separate the bar from the rest of the club. Have you been to Levity? Yeah, it's great there. But do those walls work that good to get rid of the noise? I don't really remember. You can't, once you're in the room, you can't hear a thing at the bar. Oh, that's fire then. That's fucking great. But once the, uh, like, if the door opens to come in, mm-hmm. <coughs> it, like, it's like a beacon of light coming into the room. And, like, so everyone turns and looks, it, right? Like, it, it's right. distracting. It, so. Yeah, so you could be, like, right at the punchline of your best joke, and then someone opens the door and fucks your whole shit up. Yeah. So, I mean, pros and cons, but, yeah, it becomes a, a completely different, like, you can't hear the bar at all once you're in there. Mm-hmm. So. That's a pretty cool setup. I like what they've done. I like what Patrick's done there too. They've got all the like the the games and stuff. They have like fucking Connect Four and Battleship and shit. Yeah, all over yeah. That little lounge. They so got like tiny see- pool. That's like <laughs> little, yeah. little tiny pool sticks and shit. Because <laughs> they're just trying to make it a hangout for the comedians too, right? Yeah, they yeah, for sure. The place where the comedians want to go. So it's it's kind of cool. And again, these this is all the shit I miss, right? Like this is. Mm-hmm. I just want it. I want it back, Sab. Let me have it back. (laughs) Let me have it back. That's why I spend Thursday nights talking with you. Yeah, man. Hey, it's not so bad. It could be worse, right? (laughs) No, I love it. I'm not even, I'm not even. I was like excited for this today. I was like, fuck yeah, I got something to do tonight. Yeah, man. Hopefully it gets uh, some people over to your podcast with Mitch. Yeah, whatever. They can just be your fans. It's all good, man. (laughs) Like, it, it gets so weird. Like, I want, like, to make a good podcast and, like, mm-hmm. have fun with it. But if it's just me and Mitch that watch it, whatever. I'll be happy. Like, mm-hmm. like I'm doing it to have some fun and, like, hang out with my buddy and, like, like, I have no – I mean, I would like it people to watch it so that I want to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not doing it because I need or want people to watch it. I don't – Am I making any fucking sense? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll watch it, bro. I'll definitely watch it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know who's not going to watch it? David Green, because he doesn't watch my podcast. <laughs> oh, probably not. Actually, I've watched, a few, I've watched a few of your chess ones, too. They make me laugh. That's awesome. You've been on one, haven't you, or, or no? no? I've done so many. Okay, you haven't? Oh, I think we were supposed to, but then David got famous on TikTok, and... Uh, I had to start my own podcast. Oh, are you guys not doing it anymore? No, we are, but he's just super busy. We were doing oh, it like man. every day, and then it's like he just blew up on TikTok, so he wanted to like – um, and we already have like a bunch recorded anyways, and like with that one, it's like we release it once a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this so, yeah, one – make it make it relevant, like timely. Yeah, and this one I just – I release like one or two a day, right? Just whatever I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is going to be weird. I kind of just realized this. So this is like episode 19 that I'm shoving in because I forgot to say episode yeah, 19. Yeah. But like my background's going to go like to this. And then episode 20 to like 30, oh, it's going to be back to my <laughs> shitty old bed. And then it's going to go back to this background again. So How hopefully – people do you know? What do you mean? Well, how are you going to keep pumping up two or three of these a day? I've already got like 30 recorded, probably more. <coughs> how do you know all these people? Well, like tons of people from the comedy thing, right? Like yeah, there's yeah, even yeah, tons of people that, that I didn't even really think about. Plus like um, I've done like a couple people, like three or four people, I think four now that I'd never met in real life. That I just know through YouTube. So I like oh, their cool. channel or whatever. And then. Like, I have two of them post, like, oh, yeah, so, like, the, the Anna one, uh, you probably didn't watch that one, but she's, like, a comedian from England that, uh... Okay, yeah. She she just added me on Facebook, like, before all this corona shit happened, before I even started a YouTube or whatever, and then, like, once I start, I just started asking, like, all my friends on YouTube that, like, I mean, not on YouTube, on Facebook, that I know, like, do other stuff, like, that want to yeah. entertain. So, like, pretty much everyone on my Facebook it's a comedian i'll ask and if they don't want to do it or if they just leave me on red whatever i don't care and then anyone that like That's does crazy. other shit too so like i also know like battle rappers and rappers and shit like bartone is like he's got like uh a, ba- a battle with like over two hundred thousand views on youtube really That's yeah cool. 
yeah it's crazy and he's he's well, got yeah you're into the it. music world too right a little bit yeah exactly and like uh yeah fucking i don't know it's weird because like my whole life i wasn't really like that social at least i don't think i was and That's like i would not the person i know yeah and then it's like i kind of just like more like start blossoming uh recently and being more yeah, like because like i would get like anxious and shit and like be like afraid of being on red or like saying on the the wrong thing or like posting a status and getting no likes and now i just like don't give a fuck if any of that happens you yeah. know <laughs> yeah, don't, don't let that shit bother you put what yeah. you want out there and let the world decide like don't don't like fuck it mm-hmm. that's for sure I say. like that's well how did like how long have you been doing stand-up like that's kind of what i did to get into stand-up i finally just said like what the fuck are you waiting for just do it yeah, like four years now. Yeah. Can you even count it? Like, do I have to put a pause on how long I've done it because we, like, don't get to do it for, like, hey, you know, when people, when someone yeah. asks, it, like, oh, I've been doing stand-up for 10 years, but I took a year off when the, when the virus happened, you know? Oh, yeah, you just say that. 10 years, but really nine because of COVID. Don't yeah. Get it. Don't get it. Exactly. I had a COVID break. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of just using all my jokes on TikTok or something. That way, like, when it does start happening again, I'll, like, be forced to uh, write new shit. Have you been writing new shit at all? Yeah, I've got, like, 20, 25 new minutes, but I have no idea if any of it's funny. Right? Like. Yeah, true. Yeah, you got to work it out. <laughs> and I'm working, I'm trying really hard not to make any COVID jokes. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like it's going to be the new Tinder joke when we get back. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's going to be talking about it. But I feel like almost everyone's in the same boat as you where it's like, I don't want to talk about it because everybody's going to be talking about it. You know what I mean? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the but, double reverse? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but so. nobody's going to want to talk about it, I think. It's like, once it's all over, like, let's fucking forget about it and be happy. Don't bring back those bad memories. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> The trauma no one wants to speak about. Yeah, it's like a rape joke that we all can relate to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just we're not going to tell it. We all get it. Let's yeah. move along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows? Yeah, so I got yeah, I got some ideas. We'll see. Have you been writing? No, I've just been like grinding so hard on this. Long? Man, I've, I've just like, I've got so many even set up. Like I've got the whole like next week booked up for doing two podcasts a day. Like I usually try to do one afternoon, one at night, right? Just yeah, so I'm that... trying. I've been doing, you know what I, I've listened to a lot on YouTube lately too. I'm such a loser, but it's <laughs> like any comic advice stuff that's out there. So like, uh, I listen to talking funny, like at least once a week. Um, have you ever heard that? No. But I've heard, like, I do like when comedians, like, give you advice and stuff. Like, I've heard, like, Joe Rogan and Joey Diaz talk about, like, comedians yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. coming up. But go on. Talking funny, funny, what else? Funny is an HBO hour-long special with uh, Seinfeld, Chris Rock, Gervais, and Louis C.K. from, like, eight years ago. Mm-hmm. And they just talk about comedy for now. That's awesome. It's so good. I listen to it, like, once a week. And then there is, um, it's a four-hour-long just audio of Ari Shafir, who I don't love as a comedian, but I, I, you know, respect what he's done. Um, but a four hour thing talking with young comedians at the comedy store, like a Q and a, mm-hmm. so it's so good. There's so much really cool, like stuff to think about in it. So I listen to stuff like that every day. I listen to something mm-hmm. and then I'm trying to write every day, something, uh, I'm working on like, like a sitcom skit uh script which i won't it, no one will see it it's just like an i a way to write ideas out in a different way mm-hmm. to try to come up with stuff um but yeah it's, it, i i'm i have to write because it's the only thing that keeps me in comedy right now yeah yeah this is like my version of doing it right yeah. it's like uh i kind of thought of like busting out the jokes you know what i mean Cause like fucking, but I don't know. It's all the same, right? It's like, it's just us talking. Like the way I, I, I think I said this with, uh, I forget who, I think it was maybe Tim, but I was like, I, this is more of like us talking at the bar, talking outside as opposed to like being on stage. Right. Yeah. But an idea can come up, right? Like you're not going to get a four minute bit 
from cutting and pasting four minutes of what you said. We can be like, oh, that idea is pretty fucking funny, right? Like, or that one right. line's funny and that'll fit here. Okay, yeah. So Mark, uh, Mark Andrews told me to, uh, <laughs> he, like something I said in, a, in another podcast, he said it was funny enough to be a bit, so I'll, I'll repeat it. Or I'll try to make it into a bit with you right here. <laughs> okay. So you know how you like eat chicken and then you like shit out. All right, fuck, I don't know. Just watch the podcast with Tim. Fuck, I forget how I said it. <laughs> eat an egg? You should shit out the chicken? No, you eat like chicken and like the skin comes out. And then I thought my ass was shedding or something. I don't know why Mark thought it was so funny. Now that I think why about it, it's you? like... I didn't even have that happen. It was just kind of like a, a thing that led to it. I just give me a hard time. <laughs> well, that's... A, you know what? I, and this is one of the things I love about comedy, right? Like, me and Mitch talk about this a lot. Like, I if I give Mitch a tag for something he's doing, mm-hmm. he barely ever will use it. Because that's not how his bits written. It's not yeah, yeah. his lens. It's not like we see comedy differently. Same with like you and I, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm for sure, for sure not going to do a bit about sticking my finger in the air. Cause there's poo on it and I don't want to touch it. Whoa. Anymore. Don't release my bits on the podcast, <laughs> bro. People want to see that shit. They got to wait till they I release it on a stand up special. They, they still won't even see it coming when you do it. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like we all have a different, like, cause we, our lives are different. We're different people. So like I can give you a tag and it probably won't work because it's a tag of the way I think and the way I would tell a joke mm-hmm. and you tell a joke different. And that's what's awesome about comedy. Yeah. And we still laugh at each other's jokes. We still love each oh, other's 100%. jokes or at least I love your jokes. I don't know how you feel about okay. mine. <laughs> Oh, I love that joke I just said. It Thanks, yeah. Time. That's Last like, time I heard it, actually, I think you did it in in Top Comic, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't get to do Top. So this is what happened with Top Comic. It's like right when that COVID shit was happening, right? Day of that, I'm supposed to be going on stage at noon. David sends a text to everybody. It's still happening. Blah blah blah. And then at 5 p.m., COVID was too crazy. He had to cancel it. But you was your week. Yeah, it was day of, bro. It was it was the Thursday, and at noon, I thought I was good to go until 5. And then it was like, no, we had to cancel it. So I didn't get to do the first round, yeah. You would have got through. Yeah, you never know. I could have went first. Shit can happen. It's kind of like uh, – I think, like, I had, like, a, a 90% chance to go through, but I think there's, like, a 10% chance that I, you- um, I don't buy that. Uh, could have gone first. You think it, it going first isn't an excuse? You think you should still move on? Last year, I went first and got through in my first contest ever. True, true. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll be funny. Like, I mean, but there is 10 people, bro. It's like you have to stand out from 10 people and you have to be like the first one they saw. Yeah. yeah and like, I'm their whole with mind fucking people with comedy is like they almost do need to get like warmed up a little bit. That's why I, they have I like an opener before the whole competition, even, right? Totally agree with that. Um, yeah, it's a slightly tougher spot. Um, but like, I don't know. You, you have to come knowing that that's a possibility. Right. And you have, like, if you're first, you better have three jokes in the first 30 seconds. Right? Like, change your opener so that it's bam, bam, bam. Well, my openers are always like that. It's like, I always try to hit them hard. <coughs> Basically, yeah, like, know. one of my stupidest, but also one of my favorite jokes at the beginning to get their attention with my whole style of just silly yeah. kind of dumb humor or whatever (laughs) i don't know like i think there's there's pros and cons to everything it's probably a little harder but someone has to go first in the finals right like i don't know yeah that's a good point you can't really blame anything uh like that because you know it's better to say you know what i didn't crush today like yeah, it's just yeah, for a sure. Thing that happens, right? Like we've all. Yeah, and that maybe that gets into people's heads because, like, fucking Rob was well, so was... upset that he was going first, and he didn't crush it. Like he did go first, but also fuck up. You know what I mean? So it's like well, you it's can't really wrong. blame going first. Like if he would have crushed it, even going first, then he would have moved on, right? 
Yeah, and Am- Ambrish did the same thing, mm-hmm. right? He like he he blamed the the spot after, which I'm whatever. It's for sure a harder spot, but to me, it's just like sometimes you fucking don't. It didn't work, right? Like sometimes it just wasn't good enough, and that's mm-hmm. fine. Like just how can I be better next time instead of saying I'm great? It was my it was the number one spot. Yeah, and yeah. Did like have some self-reflection and go like fuck how could i do this better so next year if i'm number one that i still get through right like Mm -hmm. like what do you do when you bomb do you just say oh the crowd was shitty or do you go what the fuck did i do well it depends on the situation like i've had some crazy uh like sometimes fucking it is the crowd like no it's not i don't know bro i've had some crazy crowds (laughs) No, if it's the crowd, it's your inability to read the crowd. Right. Yeah, I guess, like, you're just playing on a harder level. Like, every crowd can potentially be turned and laugh if you are good enough at what you do. But it's like, sometimes you're playing on easy mode if you're on showtime, and then sometimes you're at some shithole with three drunk regulars that don't like comedy at all, and they all want to get up and tell your own jokes. But if you're good enough, you can fucking... Yeah, man, that's actually a really good point. Like, if you go, if you go to, to Mate, yeah, right? Like, I'm not dark, so I'm a bad example. But even actually, I'm not that bad an example, right? Like, it is not, a harder not, room, yeah. Well, it's they're not gonna really care about me talking about being married and doing cannonballs in my pool. I mean, what the fuck is this? Like, they, they're not gonna relate to that. So, you have to pick your jokes and you have to have enough jokes. To say like, all right, this content will resonate with these people. Like they can at least relate to it, right? So like I, I'm going to tell a joke about my kid being racist by accident, which I have. No, not at Mate because it's like a vegan hippie bar. And they're going to be yeah. like, fuck you, man. Right? Like so you yeah, just got to yeah. pick and choose your content based on the room. If, you, mm-hmm. if they don't feel it, you pick the wrong jokes for the room. Do you know a human being who doesn't like to laugh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have different people in our lives. <laughs> yeah, it's my dad, bro. He doesn't like to laugh at all. Can't ever make really? him laugh. <laughs> no, I don't know. He's a funny guy. Um, hmm? And he got you to come out into this world. Yeah. He doesn't have a sense of humor? <laughs> Come on. My dad is either angry or he's pretending to be angry as a joke. So he just <laughs> always seems angry. So as, a as a joke. He yeah. likes jokes. <laughs> I don't know. I just think everyone likes to laugh or will laugh at the thing they find funny. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, like, for real, sometimes they won't find you funny. And Hey, man, I've been there. I've Yeah, me too. Before. Like, plenty of times yeah so it is what it is but uh, my i guess it's me my attitude is all right i just ate shit not okay those people suck it's why didn't i realize that they wouldn't have liked that joke like what joke should i have told how can i tell it better what can i do like i always i always put it on me it's it's not even right. a team sport, right like you're up there by yourself with a microphone if they don't laugh it's because of me so what can I do to make them laugh? That's True. How I see. Yeah, I remember like one time, okay, uh, I forget where this was. I think it might have been like uh, in Brantford or something. Um, Dave went to Brantford once. Yeah, I think it might have been then. And then uh, there was like rowdy kids in the audience. And you were, in, down. Uh, and you yeah. were interacting and you were like really good. You were killing it with them. And I was like, like, uh, it, it was impressive. It was good shit because somebody else would have, like, like cr- fucking uh, crumpled in that situation yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you, like, exploited the situation and talked to them <laughs> and, like, made some, la- made some hilarious jokes at their expense or whatever. Well, they were – that was my wheelhouse because it was, like, some university kids, right? So, like, I've yeah, exactly. before. I'm, I'm used to – kids giving me a hard time and talking back right so I, but i'm not allowed to give it back to them at the, when I <laughs> oh yeah it's got all this like built up fucking <laughs> that was eight years of shit i wanted to say 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, you just, oh, well, I just, I thought, well, I find it was, I don't know if you're this way, like, I don't do a lot of crowd work, but I, like, I'll interact. And I find that some of my funnier stuff is when I'm not thinking. I just say some stupid shit. Like, it just works for whatever reason. Yeah, for sure, man. That, like, stuck into my memory, and I don't remember most things, so. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember that trip. That was funny now that you say that, yeah. Yeah. I remember, because that was the first time, because uh, again, it was a bit of a rowdy crowd. That's the first time I had heard Dave do stuff that was a little... Uh, Edgy a little or t- whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like he had to like, because they were like, they were just the way the crowd was that night, it was kind of like a tougher bar. And he just was like, all right, this is what I got to do. And it worked, he crushed. Mm-hmm. But I was like, holy shit, he just... And that was one of the times that I thought to myself, like, oh, fuck, he just totally changed what he normally does and he and he killed the room i was like oh Mm. yeah he's that's why he's been doing it for 10 years he knows he read the room and went okay don't compliment him too much he doesn't watch my podcast so (laughs) well that's why i'm sucking up because i know he won't hear it it'll be fine yeah exactly (laughs) (laughs) or maybe someone will tell him that i said this and it'll make him it'll force him to uh, (laughs) yeah yeah um he might watch it because it's you. He loves you. Well, we get along. I you like guys did that Orange Fellows show together and stuff. That was pretty that awesome was... that you pulled that off. That was so scared, man. Because, like, so it was, like, 270-seat theater. Mm-hmm. And, like, about this time, so it was in February. So about this time last year, I said, screw it. I talked to Dave. I was like, I'm going to rent a theater. You want, like, can you help me? Because I've never run a show. And sure, he'll headline, whatever. And I literally just wrote a check and rented the theater, right? That's so like, awesome. I, could, I could have lost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Three weeks before the show, I was like, all right, we've got like 100 tickets sold. So we're going to break even, I guess. Like, it, it'll be okay. Though people will laugh. But then the last like two weeks, just tickets kept coming and we ended up selling it out and it was loud and crazy oh my god it was so much fun that's incredible bro yeah and we got mitch to record it because once we realized we were going to sell it out i was like let's record all this so we got like pretty good mitch did a really good job doing the footage and uh so now we have like no matter what i do in comedy now i can say i sold out a theater and played in front of a sold out theater and yeah and now I want to get, but that's the problem with this stupid virus. I want to get back doing that stuff, man. I want to mm-hmm. like, what's the next hurdle to jump over? Like, let's keep going. Cause that's, I don't know. So now I got to find that next challenge. Yeah, for sure. Do you, do you think you're going to uh, do another one of those shows? Orangeville shows? At, well, I'll at do some point? Shows in Orangeville. I don't know if I'll do the theater again. Cause that was like so much work. Um, but like a, a bar show, hundred people. Yeah. Eventually I'd like to do some more theater shows. I've looked at doing some theater shows, but like, um, like to sell out that Orangeville theater, I had to leverage like a lot of my, like a lot of my friends and family. <laughs> like, you guys really need to fucking come to this. <laughs> um, so like I have looked at and I've talked to, um, some agents about like bringing in like a big headliner. Mm-hmm. And then having a few friends like open. That'd be sick. Right? Because like basically I figure um, if I just pay for the headliner in the theater, I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's my show. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, like, I, I called about a few different people. Some were outrageous. I didn't even realize how much some people would charge. Um, <coughs> but like, so like uh, Kate Trevor Wilson, I called and got a number about and like uh, a, a few other people like that like that have been killing just uh and then i could have a few buddies on the show so you know i haven't booked a theater or a guy yet because everything went down but yeah i'd love to do something like that again who knows where it'll be and you can play your ukulele and <laughs> thanks <laughs> the ukulele doesn't work so good in the theaters but uh hopefully i'll be funnier by you can be intermission on the side with your youth. Just do it. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm just happy to be involved. As long as yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. invited, then I'm happy. Even as a guest, you never even told me to buy a ticket for the Orangeville show. It's an hour and a half away. I didn't, I didn't. Well, dude, I wouldn't so, have bought one anyways. It's okay. I wouldn't have bought one. When that all went down to though, like, I didn't know anybody, 
right? Mm. Like when we set it all up, it was literally like this time, like it was right after Top Comic um, last year. Yeah, you had like just started comedy pretty much, right? Yeah. So like, and I asked Dave, like, what, who do we need? Like, what do we get? And so like Jarvie was hosting a lot in at Showtime and around there then. Right. Mm-hmm. So we got him right away. Um, we knew we wanted like a female cause it was going to be all guys if not. So Dave went and got Fiona. Uh, and then Tom wasn't even supposed to be on the show. And then like two months before we learned he like lived up there. Mm-hmm. And that's when I was like, lose my fucking mind. Cause we weren't selling tickets. <laughs> so I'm on the show because he'll sell some tickets <laughs> right and then dave and i right so that's kind of how it all it was just like yeah that's awesome man fuck that's it was crazy. crazy it was better than i could ever have ever have hoped yeah all right man so this has been pretty good i think uh we should probably call it is there anybody uh you want to shout out or any places you want people to follow you or anything no well I, i'm on uh I don't even know what my Twitter is. Just DJ Brook. Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> All <kidding>. right. <laughs> yeah, DJ underscore Brooks on Twitter. Um, YouTube, uh, DJ Brooks Comedy, I think it is. Um, and you can look up the runners up on any podcatcher you use. So iTunes, Spotify, Google. All that but the stuff runners really up is. isn't on YouTube. Uh, and it's on YouTube, but it's on, it doesn't have its own channel. It's on my. Uh, it's on your channel. Perfect. Yeah. That, on my channel. That. So that's, I don't even know what my channel, just DJ Brooks. DJ is a good, I've, it's been a good name for me, honestly, my whole life. But since mm-hmm. I got into comedy and like social media, because everybody's a fucking DJ on social media. Yeah. So. That's the problem is like, people are going to think even because of this, that I'm interviewing a DJ, not a comedian. A hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Right? And it's like, I get all these ads on like, twitter and instagram all the time and then they're like gone within 12 hours because they realize like oh that's not what this guy is <laughs> yeah. like look at the picture i'm obviously not a fucking music dj yo you, know? you should try to make some music <laughs> try it out bro <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious do you think there is a dj out there that is also dj brooks oh i know there is yeah yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, and I get random emails sometimes too. Like, have you ever, th- what, have you thought of changing your name? What would you change your name to if you had to? Well, like DJ is a nickname, right? Right. So what's right. your real so name? I'm, I'm Donald. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't want to be called that. <laughs> my grandpa was, my grandpa was Donald. He was Don. My uncle was Donald. He's Donnie. And I'm Donald. I'm DJ. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I mm-hmm. wouldn't. I'm cool with it. I'm not going to change it for social media reasons now. I'm too old. Yeah, now. it's too late. It's too late, DJ Brooks. All right, thanks, man. What You're is the best. Sa- is Sav your full name? You don't even know my name, bro? I'm thinking it's Sebastian. Oh, we're friends. Know. Yeah, it's Sebastian. Yeah, I just made the assumption. Yeah, but it's spelled with an E, Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah. Then why do you go by Sav? I don't know. It's just been like ever since I was a little kid, I was called Sav. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. like as long as i can remember but i've had tons of nicknames like sabo sabby some people do say seb or whatever not often though that sounds weird to me huh it's just like a it's just like a alteration of the same nickname (laughs) yeah well no i've been like i used to be called harpo by somebody all the time because uh Uh you know the movie finding nemo yeah and dory like always fucks up the name i guess one of the times she calls him uh harpo (laughs) <laughs> and they like that, so they start calling me Har- Harpo. And Powers is like a college nickname. That's not my real last name either. Powers is like, they just thought I look like fucking Kenny Powers from East Out and Bound. So they kept calling me Powers. And then everyone in the college thought a little out. bit. <laughs> face a little bit. Little bit, little bit. Little bit. Yeah. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was in school for law, right? So fucking... Um, a buddy of mine that was in my class had like a fake name on Facebook and I was like, why do you have a fake name? And he's like, if I become a cop, I don't want people like finding me on Facebook or whatever. So I was like, Oh, who knows? Maybe I'll become a border officer. So I made this fake Facebook with sad powers and then eventually started doing comedy and that became my comedy name. Cause I was like, Fuck That's it. wicked. Yeah. A lot of teachers and stuff do that too. Like I know tons of people that don't have their full name on Facebook anymore. Mm-hmm. 
because kids are fucked and they will yeah, they you and ruin you exactly yeah people have come to your house where you live and shit do weird shit to celebrities they just like there's so many people out there there's a lot of weirdos out there you know and they're just yeah. they're allowed to run free and do whatever the fuck they want <laughs> No rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Mm-hmm. It's past my bedtime. All right, thanks, man. You're the best. This was good. No, you're shit. the best. This was fun, man. I hope it yeah. was good. It was good. You're great. All right, buddy. I'll Peace talk out. to you tomorrow. All right, cool. See you, man. How the fuck do I end this thing? I'll end it.